This super simple Arduino project is one of the many examples that come with the Powder of Life framework. Uh, this one's called LED Candle. So there's a little LED flickering like a candle. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how you throw this thing together. So let's dig in. I'm in the Arduino IDE, and I'm going to assume that you've already downloaded from the GitHub repo the Powder of Life.zip Arduino library. Uh, but then once you've got that installed, you should be able to go to the file menu and do examples. And down at the bottom, you should have an entry for Powder of Life. Let's go into starting out and we're going to open up LED Candle. So here we have the LED Candle sketch and there's a little bit of information about the breadboard electronic connections here. So uh, your LED has two wires. One is connected to ground, the other is connected to a resistor. And this is typically a 330 ohm resistor uh, in a five volt Arduino system like this. That is then connected to the digital output. And we're gonna use pin three in this example. So let's take a look at the breadboard here. I've got my breadboard and Arduino Nano. I've got a couple of jumpers. I have my 330 ohm resistor there and an LED. So I'm gonna start by mounting this Arduino board into the breadboard. I like to start it at pin one down here on the end, so I can just count easily. And I'm gonna snap that in there. Then I'm gonna hook up this uh, pin that goes to the digital output pin, and I wanna put it on pin three. Like that. Then also I'm gonna want a ground pin, so I'm gonna put that in the ground, like that. And then I'm going to grab my LED. And with LEDs, the short leg is the ground. So uh, I can just put this in here, but I got to remember which one's which. So let's say I put the ground on the right, for instance. Then I want to put this ground wire on the right, because that's the ground wire. And then for the resistor, we need to have, we can't, we don't want to plug this digital output directly into the leg of the LED because it'll, it'll push too much voltage and current and thereby current uh, through this LED and it can burn it out. So instead, we're gonna take our little resistor and the legs of these are, honestly, there's like way too long, right? And I'm gonna shove that in there. So then I've got from ground to the LED, then from the other leg of the LED through the resistor to the next pin in line there, and then this is gonna be the digital output pin there. So let's take a look at that. All right, so now I can plug in my USB cable. Now this Arduino board doesn't have a sketch on it yet, so nothing's gonna happen, but now let's take a look on the laptop side here. In the Arduino IDE here, I can go to the tools menu, I can look at my serial ports. Here's my new plugged in Arduino board on COM3. Uh, I'm gonna make sure it's got the right board selection. For some reason, my computer always forgets this. Uh, I, I have an Arduino Nano here. Now, now I should be able to hit upload. It's gonna compile and upload. And then here on the Arduino board, you'll see the LED flash on the board as it uploads code. And then once the code is loaded, uh, our plugged in LED should start to flash like a little candle. So it's using a random number generator to uh, make the pulses go at a certain kind of rate, and we can control that a little bit. So let's take a look at the laptop side and how we make those adjustments. So to look at this, uh, this sketch, just to get a basic idea here, we're using the Powder of Life library. So that's this include at the top. Powder of Life on the Arduino board side here uses an engine component. Uh, to do the kind of parallel processing that's otherwise typically kind of difficult to do in the Arduino environment. It's got a random generator. This generates the uh, candle flicker effect, as it says there. And then we've got an analog driver, and that's to actually light up the LED. In Powder of Life, um, contrary to a lot of other Arduino sketches, you do very little work here in the loop statement. Really all that happens is that the engine gets updated. Most of the coding that you do, or programming you do of Powder of Life takes place in the setup because you're really just mostly defining the different components and their relationships. So here I've got my random number generator, my, my random generator here. This is 
the engine. I'm going to add a neuron onto the engine, sort of uh, registers it with the engine. So I'm registering the generator here. And then that generator, I'm setting the random rates here. And in the header here, you can see that the random generator has four inputs. They are up min, up max, down min, down max. The two up times represent the lit state and the down times represent the unlit state. And the min and max are the minimum and maximum times that it can select from. So currently it's up from 0.1 to 0 0.01 seconds and the downtime is zero. So this means it's not actually using the downtime state, it's only using the uptime state. If there were any number, if, there, if, if this was greater than zero here, um, the, the candle would spend some time being completely dark. And we don't really want that, we just want it to flicker. So we've got these kind of very fast rates here. If we were to change this to 1.0, and let's say maybe um, 0.5, so now we're from, the, the, the range is somewhere between um, one second and a half a second, right? Usually I would write those the other way around. I wonder if that still works okay. Let's upload that. So now that that code is uploaded, let's take a look on the board side. And you can see that the LED is changing brightnesses, but it's doing it in this very slow rate, somewhere between a half a second and a whole second, which really does not give us very much of a candle effect at all. On the other end of that, let's go back to where more where it was. Let's make this um, 0 0.01, and this used to be 0 0.01, so let's make this 0 0.001. There we go. So that's going to be real fast, right? From a hundredth of a second to a thousandth of a second. Let's upload that and see what that looks like. Now that that code is uploaded, let's take a look at the LED. It does flicker. I don't know if it's more candle-like or less candle-like. It's definitely faster though. Let's take a look at one more thing we can do. Um, we're gonna need to unplug our Arduino board because we're gonna make a hardware change here. I wanna move the digital output pin from pin two to pin, from pin, sorry, from pin three to pin two. Now pin three is PWM which is a kind of synthesized analog output. So you can make things varying brightness somewhere between zero and one essentially, right? We're gonna use just a, our pin two here, which is a digital output pin and doesn't have that PWM functionality. So now we've moved that, that yellow wire over from pin three to pin two. Let's plug our board back in. And of course our LED isn't gonna light because we're gonna to need to change that over here. So on the software side, LED set pin is three, let's set it to two. And now let's upload this. So we're gonna be using the same randomization, but instead of getting the varying levels of brightness, we now only can be bright, the, now the brightness can only be either off or on. It's binary, it's digital. If we take a look at how that ends up behaving on the board, you can see that the brightness is on or off. It's, it's, uh, it's much more like a strobe light, it's like a little, uh, it's like a little horror movie now, and less like a candle. So you can see that the randomization still works because it's picking numbers that are somewhere in the range, but because that's a digital output, if it's below the 50% mark, then it's off. And if it's above the 50% mark, then it's on. That's a behavior of the actual digital pins on the Arduino board. And it's simply what you see if you try to use a digital pin in this way. And it, it's functional for something like this, but... Uh, to use this LED candle correctly, or to make it as nice as possible, we use that PWM pin for the varying levels of brightness. So just to summarize here, in the Arduino sketch, the components are created up here at the top. Then in the setup function, we've got a section for the random generator, where it gets attached to the engine, and then has its uh, rates, its random rates set here. The second section is for the LED, and it also needs to be added to the engine. It has a pin that needs to be set. And then uh, it takes as its input the random generator. This creates a two neuron network. The generator is connected to this LED uh, analog driver neuron, and they will just behave 
because the engine is being updated in the loop function. That wraps it up for the LED candle tutorial. Uh, let me comments if you got them. I'll see you next time.